Tuesday. My new most favorite thing, farmer's market salad. So this represents almost the entirety of the farmer's market. It's got True Roots, Purple Sage, uh, Smith Family Farm, Ohana. I mean, it goes on and on in here. Uh, I kept the dressing really simple. It's uh, extra virgin olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper, and I added a little bit of nutritional yeast. It's not on the menu because I added it last minute, so sorry. Uh, yummy, I'm curious to hear how everybody feels about just the, the, the farmer's market surprise every week. Um, black quinoa with mango and curry chickpeas. Always one of my favorite combinations, the black quinoa or the black rice with the mango. It's so pretty. Um, and that just has a, a extra virgin olive oil, champagne vinegar, curry, uh, very light dressing as well. We're getting into spring, so the dressings are going to get lighter. Crudite, you know, again, Farmer's Market did us proud. Um, I love these watermelon and the purple radishes and the purple carrots, yummy. Lemon dill dip and a smoky zucchini baba ganoush. Simple. Um, let's see, this one is vegan. This one has some Greek yogurt in it. Risotto. The Italian in me loves risotto. Um, it's made with lemon rind and bra uh, Brussels sprouts and then um, some shaved Saint Azur uh, blue cheese, just lightly kind of threaded throughout it and some tarragon tossed in at the very end. Warm it up uh, like three or four minutes until until it gets kind of mobile because it's it's cooked almost to perfection. So the the sauce that's in it will get light and, and creamy as you as you warm it up. Um, spring, I love spring for this spring or sweet pea croquettes over polenta with heirloom tomatoes uh, roasted. Uh, a little mint sauce to go on top of it. Uh, be, uh, let's see, did I put, oh no, that's got polenta, so polenta always has Parmesan, so there you go. <laughs> Warm it up, all of it, dip this or drizzle this or do whatever you want, and 375, seven to nine minutes, and it should be good to go. Pokey bowls, now we have to cook the tuna, it's sushi grade ahi tuna. We did some purple carrots, papaya, cucumbers, asparagus, avocado, which as you know isn't local, they come from Mexico, but you know, we can't grow them here. Poke bowl sauce, so that, it's got a little bit of a kick on it. Enjoy that. Um, warm that up or eat it cold, whatever you, you prefer, really. It's, uh, I kind of like it both ways, but I would eat the fish always within the first day, two, three, Thursday at the latest, I always say with fish. Um, Roasted leek and asparagus soup, and that is all that's in there. Roasted leeks, asparagus, coconut, salt, pepper, cumin. So yummy. Warm it up. Uh, lima bean with roasted fennel and roasted tomatoes. It's another kind of brothy soup. Make some Parmesan toast and just, actually that'd go great with either of these, these soups. Um, yummy. Okay. Chia pudding, pineapple and pear. That's what's in season. So that's what you got. It's vegan. It's made with oat milk. It's yummy. Rhubarb. That's another wonderful thing in season. Now I may have gotten a little bit carried away. I don't normally do this, but because rhubarb is so tart, I sprinkled sugar on top. So for me, this is sweeter than I like, but it's still quite yummy. It's a custard cake, uh, gluten-free, um, and it has eggs, so it's not vegan. That is it. That is your menu for the week. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week with the Farmer's Market Surprise. Bye-bye. Thank you.